Hey, 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 I think it's working. I think it's working. I think it's working. Bro, get on. I think it's working. What the? I think it's working. It closed your app and restarted. How's it going, Star? This space here. And for today's video, I have a deck for my girl Yin. I mean, you can use this for honestly like all carries, but I kind of almost like specifically made it for Yin. So first, these are the cards that I'm just gonna show it to you. I'm not gonna like talk over them or anything like that. So uh, some of these I didn't like this build. I kind of made it a little bit better. Uh, I didn't really use this exact same one when I was playing, but it's just almost the same. So I have this card. This one, I didn't really use it. I don't know why, but honestly, it makes sense on Ian. It's kind of helpful to run away and stuff like that. And you have this one. I, that's the first card I think I put on. Pretty helpful for getting glass hits and stuff like that. And you have this. I put on like mid game. And then this was towards like the mid game, late game ish. This as well, just like that. This one, I think I put it on, but I'm not sure, but yeah. Oh, and this one, this one was like the second or third card I ever put on. This one's very helpful as well for farming gold and just getting more gold in general. This one was one of the later game cards. And, and this one is the one that makes the deck. This thing helps, it's literally you're getting a shield for three seconds. I mean, if you hit your attacks, your basic attacks or any attack, like it's so helpful. You get so much life steal, and actually it's like a shield for like three seconds. So yeah, it's very helpful. And then that's the last card. So now let me show you the gems. So for the gems, what I have is um, this one. You, you're gonna put one in each one, but the most that you're gonna have in is in the agility one. So first you wanna put this one, the auto health potion, and then this 5% increased gold. And then this one for the attack speed. This one, I had the lifesteal one on it, but I have that, you know, that one card where it's 150 lifesteal for this much. I have that on there. So that's why I switched it from this to this one. So yeah, I, I haven't tried this on Yin yet. So I really don't know how it's going to work. And if you don't know what this is, you're pretty much like shooting two shots. Like I've seen it on Twin Blast and Revenant, and that's freaking so overpowered. Oh my God, you don't even know. But yeah, I haven't tried it on Yin yet. So yeah, that's what you want to put on. And after that, for vitality, I'm gonna put this on. And by the way, I'm putting all these for like later games. Like there's uh, there's a few things in here and in there that's gonna help you early on. But I, I don't really care about that. I care about later game because early on it's not that hard to like level and get XP and all that stuff. But for the later game, that's what's important for me. So for vitality, you want to put this one on. And then lastly, for intellect, I want to put the auto shield. This thing's actually very helpful. Honestly, it is. You want to put the auto shield and then the experience this one I, I don't know i wasn't really gonna put this on i was gonna put something like here or something like that but honestly that's kind of helpful so yeah here's all the gems in the deck now time for the gameplay Alright, I don't know what that is, but that was one of my teammates in this match. So yeah, we're starting off. This is the second or... Yeah, this was my second ever match <clears throat> in the freaking V42. And I was like, you know what? Let me try again. My girl, you already know. First card I put on was that. And uh, first, before we talk about anything, look at that crown. Like how beautiful. I have the, the like the last crown, you know, the gold one. I have for my Master Grux. I'm going to do a gameplay on that guy too as well. Because, you know, just for the crown, bro. That looks so sick. So, yeah. And I don't know if you guys knew. Yesterday, the servers were down. Everything was down. Till like 7 or 6. And, oh my god, I wanted to kill myself. Literally, the whole day, I was just sitting in my room waiting for the servers to come up. And literally, nothing was happening till 7. Like, I was literally, the whole day, I did nothing. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of late on uploading and stuff like that. But you know what? It's okay. I have a video up now. It's coming up. We're good. The second card that you want to put on is... See that one card that I have? This thing? It's freaking trash. That's why I took it out of the build. It does nothing. Literally, you have to look, look. See how I'm right next to the inhibitor? Nothing is happening. You literally have to be inside the thing. Look right there. You see how I got that? You literally have to be inside the thing to get like the speed boosts and something like that. So yeah, it's not good. Don't even think about putting that. That's why I took it out of my build. 
We're all good. Cameron thought he could gank me. That's not happening, boy. I saw that a mile away. So over here, watch. It's four minutes in, and Chimera and Morgan are already pushing against me, man. They're so annoying. And watch. You want to see one thing that I hate? That I hate the most about this update. So watch. You know how you have to, after you get an upgrade, you want to upgrade something, you have to click L2. I always hold it. And it's so annoying because if you hold it, you stop and you go to that card screen. And that's caused me so much times to almost die or like mess up on, like on a kill or in a team fire or something like that. You don't even know how annoyed I was because I kept on doing it and doing it. And honestly, I was about to freaking delete that app what happened one more time. But now I'm getting more and more used to it. But yeah, that's my one pet peeve of the freaking update. You have to click L2 because you already know before you have to hold it. But now you have to click it. Am I right? Does anyone, anyone get annoyed by that? Or am I just the only one? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Next card you want to put on is this one. Very helpful, you get a lot of gold. And next thing you want to do is put some uh, points and some agility and some vitality as well. Because, you know, you just have to share. Give some here, give some there. You know, sharing is caring. You already know, you learned that when you're young. Me and FaZe over here just took out this tier 1. And then I saw on the map that there's a little count, there's a little rat sneaking up on us. So I just stood on this. I'm like, you're not attacking me. I see her attacking FaZe. So then I started attacking her. And then we're just destroying her. She ults. Grux came out of nowhere. And oh my. They just got, they both got deleted. Grux deleted Countess. Countess just erased FaZe. Like, I was confused actually when Grux killed her. Like, I didn't think she was dead at first. I went to the left, like, searching for her or something like that. But yeah, that was kind of confusing. Next card you want to put on is that one i think you get like ability penetration or something like that very helpful there you go phase you gotta kill that's how it is out here baby so after that card what do you want to discard that and then put on this thing which is the one i think that gives you like 15 bonus damage or something like that. i don't know i forgot over here i'm invisible and i see grux attacking countess and she thought she's just attacking grux no there's three other people and what is that someone can someone tell me what is that oh yes you're right it's an easy kill it's an easy freaking destroyed uh, whatever bro whatever next card you want to put on this one i think that one's ability armor print i don't know something penetration but yeah that's what you want to put on and look at grux man he's doing so much work like every time i go to back to base someone gets the kill like i should go back to base more often like what is this over here i see countess for some reason she hasn't left so i'm like you know what let me teach her a lesson and watch this look she escaped right she's gone but no for some reason she comes back I think because she thought like I was right next to her and she was trying to like break my ankles or something like no you can't do that to me like who do you think you are like I easily just destroyed her she should have just left right away when she had the chance but she got destroyed and watch this look at this we look like the freaking paragon mafia like we just batman all of them and then like oh yeah I'm kind of messing up just just don't look at that part but uh, and then countess ults me that did literally no damage I don't know if it was a glitch I don't know if she actually does no damage or something but you know what, it doesn't matter. Countess gets destroyed right over here. Uh, the freaking Shinabe, she gets destroyed in the beginning as well. And Mortgage came out of nowhere, sadly destroyed our face. Well, you know what, don't even worry about it. You will get revenge for you. Jumped her right there, and then I just finished her off easily. Like, she was not going anywhere. Chimera's back. Does he want to get destroyed as well? Where Look, look, he has this one card, though. When you go through the shadow plane, that thing... You go invisible for a little bit. Honestly, that's a pretty good card. Like, I'm thinking about putting that on. Like, it's pretty helpful. Like, he just escaped us. And the next card you want to put on, for some reason, I was like, you know what? I was thinking hard. What should I put on? But I just put that back on there. I didn't know what to do. I was thinking, should I take this off? And I'm like, you know what? F it. Good enough. My boy Iggy scores. Gets a kill. Like, everyone getting a kill, man. I should just keep going back to base. Like, what's happening? Over here, I'm coming. I'm kind of late to the party as usual. Iggy and Scourge gets destroyed. Uh, Shinabe gets destroyed. And this Countess, look, she thought she was going to run away. No, nope, jump to her. I get thrown back like 50 feet for some reason. But I wasn't giving up. No way. I'm tower diving her. I have 10% life to you, so I can take it. Oh my. Oh. Oh my god. I thought I was going to. Oh, let's go, phase. Let's get it. Saving me out here. Can you guys guess what's going to happen over here? If you said another team fight, well, you're freaking right. So, honestly, everything is so much more fast-paced. By the way, wait, I'm going to make another video on V42 and all the good and bad stuff about it. So, yeah, subscribe for that. And over here, Countess obliterated. Who is that? Shinobi, she gets destroyed. Grux, I mean, Greystone, like, he had no chance as well. He just stayed way too long. But it's all right. We just destroyed him. 
So if you want to get old prime, don't worry about it because it's freaking so much easier. By the way, if you didn't know, it spawns in at the 10, 10 minute mark, I think, right? I don't even know, but Grux obliterated. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Countess obliterated. Shinobi, she ran away. <laughs> like she barely phased did her root thing a little bit quicker. I probably could have got her, but you know what? She ran away. F her. Let's just forget about that. So over here, I was trying to tower dive someone, but as, as you can see, it didn't work out. I was dying, and look at Chimera. I was doing so much damage to him, and then this boy, she ulted me. He had no chance. He actually, actually had no chance because he just got destroyed by the other girl. And watch this, like this Greystone and Chimera. Like, look at him, look at him. Look at Chimera. Look at my health. Look at me. Oh my, and Shenabe came as well. Look at this. Oh my god, I could not be stopped. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't die. FaZe didn't die. Dream team out here. No one's dying. Look, look at that. Honestly, I think the life still thing kind of came in handy. But I'm pretty sure it's all because of FaZe. All that health regen she was giving me. I was getting so much health regen. More than freaking Chimera himself. And I just could not be stopped. Like, I actually couldn't. So the next card you want to put on is the card that makes a deck. And that is this lifesteal card. And if you don't know what it is, it's the 150 uh, lifesteal for 3 seconds. And it's actually really good. Like, it's like a shield almost. It's so helpful. You don't even know. So over here, I'm telling Iggy to bait a little bit. But out of nowhere, the mortgage came. And he was getting attacked. So I'm like, you know what? Let me attack her a little bit. I've been attacking her, attacking her. And then I turn around. And guess what happens? This boy dies as usual. What's new? And watch. Right here, I'm going to use it. Look at this. I can't be stopped. I actually cannot be stopped. Look at that. Oh my god, it was destroyed. I mean, only one person was attacking me. That was probably a bad example. But, like, if a lot of people are attacking you and you just, like, keep hitting, keep landing your attacks, then you're going to keep regaining life. I'm mean, keep regaining some health and you're going to get. I don't know, man. It's just so good. We just destroyed them. Try this deck out. Please subscribe for more videos like this. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.